What's up, my folks? I hope y'all are doing grand. Um, I wanted to announce that uh, we uh, went ahead and picked the uh, vice president that we're going to run for the no -pro non-profit. We're still working on a name. It's going to be simple. But uh, I chose Kevin, Mr. Kevin from 78 Sports. Uh, I like, they're, they're, you know what I mean? It's just they understand the dogs are in a different environment. They have, a, uh, they have to deal with different things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a good choice, I think. Good guy, nice guy. So, and uh, you know, they have to deal with the same. He has to deal with the same shit that we all do. I like somebody that's, that actually is a dog man. You know, to be on the board, and he's got a lot of knowledge with uh, the what's going on in that area, and you know, stuff like that. So, just think it's a good choice. So, anyway, that's who we picked. Uh, I told you I'd tell. I told a few people who I'd let know who it's going to be. I, I, who I, I decided on. Um, you know we're still working the bugs out but we're getting it together okay guys uh let's talk a little bit about breeding okay producing dogs it's pretty simple i'm gonna go through it kind of simply fast and we'll hang out here with the slayer sisters and talk about this i'll level it out real quick for you uh first of all hybrid i seen a comment on on bills i tried to go through a few youtubes and uh and you know and see a few of the things and keep up with you guys i ain't really had time it's like i got 19 fucking kids in there but uh anyhow all right a real hybrid is not what we can sell what we call hybrid hybrid viger and dogs okay a real hybrid is like when you have two species that breed two different species and it produce an offspring you know all, all kinds of shit. Like if a wolf and a dog bred, that would be a hybrid, you know, or, uh, you know, all kinds of shit, you know, uh, fish, you know, it's, it's all, they done hybrids all through, mule, mule's a hybrid, you know what I'm saying? But in dogs, chickens, uh, cows, pigs, uh, fish, uh, pretty much everything, horses, men, everything else, when we call it, they, I hear the royalty people still do it, but, uh, it's called, a outcross when you were talking about adding hybrid viagra there's two ways to do it okay it all really stems down from the bloodline whatever bloodline you're using okay say you're using i'm just going to go use eli because that's you know pretty simple everybody understands eli okay there's okay you got eli dogs but you go you got so many different dogs that's already created families off of eli but it's still basically the eli bloodline you can create a hybrid viagra by breeding say you've got you've got your uh eli dogs that you're you've been breeding on one old dog out there and he's pretty much played out you're starting to see things not the same you know what i mean there comes a point i don't give a shit when no one tells you, you keep inbreeding you're going to have a point that point okay you can either do a complete outcross it's which i do a lot of times and then i'll start inbreeding on my own side. like these are three quarter quarter this is three quarter 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 outcross three quarter state but uh anyhow you can do a complete outcross which is something that is not of the same bloodline okay it's, or you can do what they call line breeding find something that's not even near your dogs but of the same bloodline you understand what i'm saying like you could like different eli dogs for instance you know what i mean not of the same exact family different bloodline it's pretty simple really i mean they all it all pretty much goes back to the same stuff but you get you got to get what i'm saying here but when you get a dog that you played out you got to do what they call an outcross some people even call it an outcross when you're going back in the same bloodline but just different dogs out of their family that's an outcross that's all they need you know but that's where you're going to get your viagra it's been around forever everyone's it's it's a true thing i mean <laughs> anyone that thinks hybrid viagra doesn't exist is is not in touch with reality i know that everybody's on science 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 and they're trying to re-educate people but i'm just telling you hybrid viagra has been around forever i grew up with the hybrid dogs the hybrid chickens the hybrid horses the hybrid cows you know what i'm saying i mean i bred hogs i bred a pure pure blood a line bred durox i didn't inbreed them you can't inbreed them and you'll notice in these dogs you're not going to be able to inbreed them too long you know a lot of people ask about my old bullies and stuff i inbred it well what i did is i had a offspring i went back to the the sire with then i went back to a brother sister breeding and then i went back to the, you see what i'm saying and, and it lost and then they started going and then when it usually about three generations you got to do something here um or you're going to start losing it you might still have decent dogs but they were going to they're going to start having 
things you're not going to like happen. I mean, trust me. I mean, I'm just telling you guys, I don't want to see you guys fuck up. There is such thing. You cannot keep going back to the same dogs. And eventually you're going to have to outcross or go to a, a line breeding. Find something in the same bloodline that you're running of a different strain or different family. And you should, should get some hybrid vibrator. As long as it's not too close to the same family as yours. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but then you can go right back in. There's a lot. Once you go out cross one time, you've got a lot of genes put in there. Just different genetic code. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyhow, that that's the truth. I mean, anyone that... I don't know anybody that wouldn't believe in it. I mean... Look at the horses, the cows, the shit we have nowadays is all from proper breeding techniques, proper line breeding and outcrossing, and uh, that's what we got. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, all right. I had a, a, <laughs> a bunch of questions about the time I, I mentioned. I had a few emails about that. Uh, yeah, I did a, I didn't, I did a match into Jody over a bag of dog food. Of course, he was a spoiled sport about it. He didn't even bring the bag of dog food. I actually went and got his brand. You know, when y'all got to understand something. When I match dogs, it was kind of like when I poached deer. There's only three reasons to do it. The first one's commodity. As a big show, I want to be around a bunch of people with dogmen, like-minded people, and make a good show, and that was my goal. You know, uh, or in necessity, you got to eat. Just like poaching deer, necessity, you got to eat. Or the third one, the glory. You want the trophy. That was the only reason I ever poached deer. You know, main three reasons. Something to do, something to eat, or I wanted to rack. It's the same with the dogs. It was for the, the to be around other dog men and, and, and be a part of it. Or I needed to make the money. I went after the money end of it. Or I wanted the glory. And that's what that was. When you match them for a bag of dog food, that was what that was about. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about anything. It was just about this old little puppy likes chewing on that rope. I just gave it to her the other day on that video. She ain't really let it down much. <laughs> but uh, she ain't got crazy with it, but she likes just tugging it. But um, And that's what it is when you're doing that. When you're willing to go in there with your charge. And I mean, it was serious. I went into, you guys all talk about all that bullshit. The dog I went into was off of Nico Jr. and Clay Hill's Miss Rage. I mean, it wasn't a, a joke. I mean, I was going in to, to beat this motherfucker, and he was coming in to beat me over some bullshit that other people talk, but I called him out on it. He had to do it. Jody didn't want to do it. Jody said I wasn't talking, but he's part of the kennel that was talking. I was like, you're going to have to, you know. And uh, you got to now, you know what I'm saying? I'm calling you. We, at first, I wanted to do it for a take each other care of each other's dogs for a week where he had to come over and take care of my dogs or i'd have to go over and take care of his dogs he didn't want to do that for sure so i said fuck it a bag of dog food that's what we agreed on agreed on the date and we did it and i won and uh that's just all there was to it but i had to stop that shit was getting all over the place you know that they were just talking all that bullshit and i was getting sick of it and they were talking about a particular dog and they had a particular dog and that was before tater I got I got seen taters after that his first one, um, but yeah that was before tater, but same dogs. But anyhow, yeah that's the true story. I mean there's a lot of people that could verify that story, but yep yeah, we used to do that quite regular. I mean that's the only time I ever did it. I mean I never let it really get my pissed off and it's getting away until then. But then I went on a rampage. I, it ain't the first one, Jody. I mean shit I stopped a bunch of them damn dogs and it was just. They were good dogs. I mean, real good ass dogs. I just was had a goal. You know what I'm saying? I, the only one that ever uh, whooped me was Owen. Owen and Yella, old Yella. He had a damn. My dog was off the uh, on Yella's. It was I'm talking about E. They called him Yella. His name is E. Everyone probably remembers him E. But um, he had a damn buck dog. And I had a damn Strickland dog, and we done, fuck. There were 17 scratches, and there was no way, I didn't think there was no way that his would ever be able to come back again. And I, I had to do it. Mine was still fresh as a daisy. Man, it's a monster, you know. And uh, 
it was like an hour and something, like almost two hours. And uh, mine just went over there and got romantic. Went over there and grabbed that motherfucker with his paws and spun him around and started trying to take that man cooter from him. I was like, God, dog it, they can make the ten count. And I lost that motherfucker. Then they went around there telling everybody they 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 whooped our ass. <laughs> I swear to God, they did. <laughs> and I lost uh. Up there at JW's bad one night. I mean, I'm where I picked up. But I knew I shouldn't have been in there. And that bitch, she didn't have enough mouth. That was another thing. You got to bring the right dog back then. You know what I mean? You had to bring the right dog. But that was one that just wanted to make a showing kind of thing. But, uh, you know, it was, it's, it was a different world. I mean, but yeah, we did it. We did it for real. I mean, real as you could get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... It, it, the scene played out. That's all I'm gonna say. The scene played out. It, that that shit wouldn't happen no more. There ain't no. That's what they was called a uh, a dog man's bet. You know, I like the idea of uh, cleaning up each other's yards for a week. That's what I used to always try to get motherfuckers to do because I always had more dogs than anybody else, <laughs> but no one would ever do it. But anyway folks y'all take care y'all keep on bulldogging and yes there is very much hybrid by i seen that stupid ass comment that's what i'm saying man <laughs> dog but anyway y'all take care and keep on bulldogging <laughs>